This is how you can turn your text electric, add a custom texture, make it drip, give it a 3D bevel and emboss effect or make it wiggle. And all of this with my free presets in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. You can download all of these effects on my Payhip linked in the description. Once installed, you will find the presets under effects in your library. They all share one thing in common. You can drag them onto any text node. They also work perfectly with my 30 text animations, so you can combine both to create a unique style. The first effect is electric text. Playback might feel a little laggy since it's based on my powerful Hope Glow preset. In the inspector you can fully customize the look of the lightning. The thickness slider makes a spark more or less prominent. Shape controls how detailed the spark appear. Speed sets how fast the lightning moves. The scale slider adjusts the refraction amount and the glow gain increases or decreases the glow. With a color wheel you can even change the spark's color. I usually go with yellow or blue. Under appearance you can decide how much lightning is visible. The amount slider makes the effect stronger overall. Size controls the scale of the sparks and appearance speed changes how fast the visible area shifts. The second effect is text texture. This pack includes three different textures you can simply drag onto your text. The first is the bloody texture, which makes it look like the text is filled with blood. But in the inspector you can completely change the look. In the gradient bar you can click the small triangles to change color or even add more to mix three or more colors. That way you could create something like a fiery texture. To refine that look just adjust detail, contrast, brightness and scale. The seeth rate controls how fast the colors animate. Next is the crystal texture. The controls here are much simpler. You can adjust the size, animation speed and the color of the crystal like effect. And the last texture is the gradient texture. This creates a horizontal gradient across the text with two or more colors. Contrast makes the gradient stronger while the Y position slider adjusts the balance of the colors. That's all for the textures. Let's move on to the text drip effect. This animation automatically starts at the end of your text. The key slider here is X point, which controls which letter the drip effect starts on. If you've changed the text Y position, you might also need to adjust Y center. The animation duration slider controls how fast or slow the drip runs. But besides those adjustments, I actually recommend leaving the default settings. Next is one of the most versatile effects, bevel and emboss. This creates a fake 3D look by adding bright and dark edges to your text. Sharpness changes how wide the bevel is, height simulates the bevel's depth, the angle sets the direction of the light and smoothness makes the edges softer. In the shading section you can tweak the lighting. Ambient light adjusts the overall brightness while diffuse light creates the shadows. Equator angle and polar height further shape the shadows though I recommend sticking with the default settings. Finally we have text displays. This preset gives your text a wobbly stuttery movement that adds extra dynamics. It's often used for paper letter style but I also like to use it to make the text feel less static. In the inspector you can choose between radial refraction and XY refraction. Then adjust the refraction strength and display size which can heavily distort the text. The displace time slider decides how many frames each distortion holds. For example if it's set to 10 the effect changes every 10 frames. To make it faster just lower the number. And that's all the text effects for today. I hope you enjoyed them and will use them in your own edits. If you want to take your editing skill to the next level make sure to check out my DaVinci Resolve Discord linked in the description. I'll see you in the next video.